Do you think this becomes a criminal case? I know, I know you've, you've reported that the FBI is looking at it, but it appears that they raised money after this event from somebody, and that ostensibly could mean that they defrauded whoever those investors were. Well, there are two things. I mean, Matt Levine at Bloomberg wrote that this is that 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 you know faking an investor call is just is is sort of tax is securities fraud in a more literal way than the phrase, term securities fraud usually gets thrown around. That's a SEC a civil proceeding, I think, and it an often and an SEC decision. And because that deal didn't go through, sometimes prosecutors say, you know what, ultimately no harm, no foul. Um, I do think yes, they they raised money after. This and I think you know the board has hired Paul Weiss to do an investigation, but I think the board also is probably concerned that they fit. I mean, that you know they knew about this um, alleged securities fraud and didn't consider it material in telling and didn't consider it something they might want to mention to people who they were asking for millions of dollars from. And I do think that could be a real issue. Do you think? And I, you know, hopefully we'll have an opportunity at some point down the line to talk to Mark Lazary about this. But do you think that he was lied to? Um, or do you think he knew? Um, I have no indication that he knew, and he jumped ship with such, you know, incredible alacrity that um, it, it doesn't doesn't seem like he feels like he's complicit, right? It just seems. But it's also pretty puzzling, honestly, kind of what what he was doing there. You know, they have this big press release and this glowing Axios press release about you know how he's become chairman of this great company, and if you had spent any time talking to people in the media business or kind of poking around the company, you would realize that all these views were fake or not fake, but all these views had been purchased and there wasn't a organic audience. And I don't know. I mean, Mark Lassery has so many things going on and has had such a great year. It's sort of perplexing as to why he decided to do this. Ben, I just want to thank you for appearing on what has been called the greatest morning show in the history of TV, Andrew <laughs> Ross Sorkin, New York Times. Uh, Right, the, the New, New York Times squawk box is. Well, now you can take that quote. Take and with that the, quote with and, the second most famous Sorkin. That's great. <laughs> he was watching earlier. That's right, the second most famous Sorkin. <laughs> but Ben, that's the other part of this that's such a crazy part of the story. These quotes that are used. I love ads. that. I, I mean, if so you can, incredible. I mean, if you can, it's so funny. You got to admit. Some of the stuff is, is where they paid for it, and then they use it. Yeah, so all the, I want to know, Ben, do you think, and just so the audience can, t can keep up with what's happening here, basically they were buying, in certain cases, like paid posts on the Los Angeles Times website, <laughs> and then running full-page ads later in other places, citing the L.A. Times as if the quote about Carlos Watson was written by the L.A. Times. Can you say something in deal book? I'm not kidding. And then we can say New York Times? No, no. Why? The ben, greatest ben, morning. But why do you think that actually, I'm, one of the things I was curious about that, why do you think that the media companies didn't realize this was happening? Um, you know, I would go, I would see these ads on the sides of buses. Yeah, you know, uh, they, 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 they sort of flew below the radar because nobody, they have no, they didn't have much of an audience. It wasn't like any of us were saying, it. gosh, <laughs> we're hearing footsteps from Ozzy. We better check out what they're really doing. It just seemed like this kind of, Curiosity, um, yeah, and they worked incredibly hard to generate these sort of questionable quotes. I mean, they really worked hard at this. This was not like a casual, impulsive deception. This was a lot of work. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.